name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing Mercury in Leo. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. People with Mercury in Leo have a playful quality to their thought processes. They like to take ideas and explore them creatively to see what new forms they can develop. The sign of Leo brings a great deal of pride into the general intellectual workings of these people, which helps them to think in bigger ways than the average person, possibly causing them to build up grandiose mental structures, but at the same time not being particularly concerned with the details or smaller concerns of the idea. Mercury in Leo has a fixed mental view about themselves and so they tend to identify closely with their ideas, concepts, and opinions. They like to really think things through in big ways and then entertaining others with these wonderful ideas. As a result, there is a slight tendency to exaggerate with this Mercury position or to become intellectually arrogant, overbearing, dramatic, and forceful in their speech and expression. These people have a great ability to appear and present their information in such a way that they give the impression of being an authority on any given subject. They take great pride in their intellectual abilities. On the negative side, they do have a tendency to think of themselves as very important but the intellectual process often becomes dogmatic or bigoted in flavor. In any case, they have a wonderful dramatic flair when presenting their ideas to others that often has an honorable or noble, noble flavor to it all. These people also love to read about heroic, wonderful adventures or about great achievements of the human spirit they like to lift themselves above the petty humdrum life of the mundane world into an intellectual world that is grander in scope. These people have a very high moral and intellectual opinion of themselves and of how things should be and are constantly striving to become this high-minded person of their dreams. If they somehow don't manage to live up to their high standards, they will then deliberately set out to fit themselves into the natural order of things. They are not people who want to cause conflict in this manner. Mercury in Leo has a wonderful, creative, intellectual capacity, and they take great pleasure in playing with words or ideas. They also like playing games of various kinds especially those games that require some thought, logic, or analysis. These can be board games, card games, or crossword puzzles, or other games that require a lot of word play. Or they may love to play territorial or strategic types of games like chess. If the Mercury and Leo person is more actively active by nature, they'll enjoy games that require a continual interplay between two opposing, opposing points, like tennis or cricket. When it comes to their work, the great creative mind of Mercury and Leo people will move them towards the organizational or managerial level as they have a great aptitude to coordinate their efforts and produce and production and those of others into a well-synthesized whole. Mercury and Leo people have the wonderful capacity to take ideas and creative concrete realities, make concrete realities out of them, particularly if these ideas will affect larger areas of their environments or that will use their wonderful, playful, and creative minds. 
Teaching children is something that these people would excel at as they are fabulous at awakening and encouraging the young person's mental development, while at the same time keeping their own playful curiosity alive. The negative Mercury in Leo person may tend to be conceited and overbearing and may have a tendency towards being on a continuous ego trip. The negative Mercury in Leo person may also tend to be a snob, and their natural sense of pride and authority may degenerate into boasting and other show-off types of behavior. They may also de degenerate into being show-offs who piss people off with their patronizing and pompous attitudes. The negative Mercury in Leo person may also be the type of person that constantly offers others advice on how to live their lives and then gets angry if that advice is not wanted by others. Mercury and Leo people are very articulate in their speech patterns because they really want to get their ideas out correctly to others. They impress others with the warmth of their personalities and with the accurate information that they convey to others. As a CEO of a company, these people are able to make broad statements and then summarize the facts to others in such a way as to convince them that their ideas are truly the only realistic points of view on the matter. They also identify strongly with their beliefs on things that they can get to the point of regarding disagreements to these beliefs in others as a form of personal disloyalty. As a result, the Mercury and Leo person has a tendency to surround themselves with yes people that ultimately exist merely to satisfy their egos. Mercury and Leo is an intellectually dynamic placement. The vitality of Leo combines well with Mercury to produce a person that is a wonderful communicator. However, if these people lack restraint, there is a tendency towards conceit and utter dogmatic statements and opinions and to get angry if these truths are challenged in any way. Because Mercury is so close to the Sun, it can never be more than 28 degrees away from Mercury in a birth chart and so there are only three Sun-Mercury combinations for each sign. When, Mercury is in, uh, when the Sun is in Cancer and Mercury is in Leo, there will be a lively interest in programs for the common welfare, despite them having a basically retiring temperament. People with this combination of astrological energy find themselves drawn out of themselves because of their desire to nurture their ideas with which they have identified with so strongly and to see them recognized by other people at large and accepted by all concerned. If the Sun and Mercury are both in Leo, then a strong desire for prominence is joined with a wonderful flair for conveying their thoughts vividly and imaginatively. This strongly favors artistic accomplishments as well as general social success and recognition in life as a truly unique personality. These people like to work closely with others in person rather than, than do their communications over the phone or other electronic devices and social media. And so they tend towards making a lot of short trips in order to do just this. If the Sun is in Virgo and Mercury is in Leo, the natural ability, natural ability towards fine craftsmanship is enhanced by a special skill in formulating useful techniques. This person is not so interested in worldly renown as they are in making their methods known to others. They believe that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery and so for them to see the systems that they have developed and which they have ident identified so powerfully given their rightful due. These people may also have a special interest in the healing arts and in the power of contemplation or prayer to relieve illness in others. 
This Mercury position loves the ideal of their mind and heart cooperating to produce objects whose beauty lies in their supreme usefulness. The person with Mercury in Leo usually is usually so pers persuasive in their speech patterns that they can easily sell their ideas, handiworks, and even themselves to others if they truly want to. They have a distinct style, but they are not generally interested in being different. They want to be understood and approved of and will go to great lengths to make their ideas presentable to others. These people feel that they have a lot to give to the world and do not like to hide their light under a bushel. And so, they enjoy being reminded of how wonderful are they are by the cheers of an appreciative audience. I have a great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.